I'm a dipterist from California, uh, around Sacramento, and I'm working on several groups here in Zerki um, that have that do different things biologically. I'm working on uh, family Loxaneidae that are that feed in leaf litter, um, and in bird's nest, and really in any decaying leaf material. Um, and one of the interesting biologies is that they'll feed as leaf miners on fallen leaves in the forest. So they're, they're among the, the decomposers uh, in, the, in the forest. Uh, the other groups I work with uh, here are family Chamomyidae that are predators on things like scales and mealybugs that are common in forests, and also Therividae that are, are called stiletto flies that are also predators, but they're a little different. They feed under the leaf litter uh, on um, whatever insects occur under there. So they're like little snakes uh, uh, under the leaf litter that are active predators. And finally, Odoneids that are a very rare family um, that feed in things like bark beetle tunnels. So they're feeding on uh, uh, fungus within trees that are, that are damaged by beetles. And they're interesting in that sometimes they reach the beetle and they kill the beetle and feed on it. But they don't have to, so. But those, that's sort of an overview of the yeah. families. Of, of those families, the most diverse one is that first one in, uh, that feeds in the, in the leaf litter. Malaise traps that uh, a lot of us here use are very good for uh, uh, several of the, well, for Loxneids particularly. Yeah. Um, Chamomyids, they're pretty uncommon in general, and you, you sort of catch them randomly by sweeping. Uh, they're rare in Malay's traps, or you can rear them, but rearing takes quite a bit of time. You have to find the scale colony and bring the whole colony back to the lab and keep it enclosed and keep it alive. And if there are Chamomyids in it, then they'll continue feeding and they'll emerge eventually. Oh, wow. The Revids, in dry ecosystems, they're, they're rather easy to collect with malaise traps because where it's dry, uh, when you find a small bit of water on a trail, uh, there'll be a lot of Therivids moving up and down this dry trail looking for water. Um, so you get them in the malaise traps a lot. But in the forest, everything is so wet that um, uh, in this kind of forest, uh, everything's so wet that there's nothing to bring the Therivids into one place. So they're much fewer and farther between to actually find them. Right. Odoneids, again, they sometimes come to malaise traps or sweeping. Yeah. So my, my main technique is sweeping. I've been working uh, with materials at Indio for, for quite a long time, you know, since the 90s anyway. Um, and the material has always been, you know, very, very well mounted. Yeah. They pick up the collectors who have put into Inbio have gotten great diversity. Uh, just as an example, um, for the family Odoneidae, the one I mentioned that feeds in bark beetle tunnels, um, most collections will have maybe a half a drawer. You know, insects are stored in drawers on pins. Yeah. And they'll have maybe half a drawer or less. Uh, and really only the major collections have multiple drawers. And Indio has collected a lot uh, and increased the number of species uh, not yet described for Central America probably by five or six times. Wow. Anyway, yeah, uh, cool. so I mean I have many hundreds of specimens yeah. that have been collected by the folks at Indio. Awesome. And that's far more than I've ever collected. <laughs> I've been to Inbio a couple of times, and uh, we also had our uh, Diptera Congress here in, in Costa Rica several years ago. Okay. Um, but I've been collecting in, in several parts yeah. of the country, Monteverde and La Selva. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think this overall this is a fantastic project, and focusing on such a small area and trying to really get a handle on its diversity is going to give us a baseline that no other group of insects have. Something that can be a basis for comparison with other sites and really will, will provide great data for uh, 
understanding biodiversity better.